I'm Chris Barrett. I help business owners make a lot more money, work a lot less hours, and have even a better life than the one they dreamed of when they first went into business. Which network serves you best? We tend to forget that things can indeed turn into their opposites very quickly, such as love and friendships. The desire for love is the desire to be with the other and the desire for meditation is to be with yourself. Love means to be focused on the other and meditation implies an inward journey into ourselves. And so it is with the social media explosion. We still have what was called years ago open, random and supportive networks and we still have what was called the closed, selective and controlling networks where people interact online and in life with each other. We may initially connect online through the open, random and supportive proposal and thereafter have a selective relationship with no more than 100 to 150 people. At least, that's what some solid research showed some years ago. I don't think one particular network is the one because we can and do have different networks for different reasons. How I see the solution is not so clear because I honestly do not know whether a solution is the right word for the conundrum. My feeling is that for most of us, we have seen that our once upon a time so-called solid friendships within certain networks or even family love relationships have often crumbled with the slightest difference of opinion. For the person seriously interested in how networks run and even how families can survive this fast changing world, the test will be how we can maintain a liquid friendliness and a loving heart and respect where people come and go and this is accepted unconditionally. A network of any real worth should be loose, friendly, open, random and supportive. Whether this sort of network where people come and go is profitable for one and all is not the question in my opinion. The question is whether we understand the function of a network. If the nature of a network is how we can all benefit, then it's clear that to have any expectations of how another human being should be is ridiculous. But this is where we all fall down. We do have expectations, and we know by now that expectations lead to resentment. I understand a little about how networks function and can say that the most enduring ones are the most open, random and supportive, but those within them do not expect necessarily to be fed by those who float in and out and have no judgments of right and wrong about any other person in the network. Not so easy, right? Open, random and supportive can turn into its opposite because that is the dialectics of life. But overall, it's better not to make a fixed rule out of it. As we are coming to realise, the journey is life. Now, how this translates into developing an effective network will emerge in time. And the sooner we understand what networks work for us, the better. Thanks for watching or listening. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos like this one.